But I went ahead and, re and removed the disconnect from this air handler. And as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to install a UV light. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to take all the panels off. So, since this thing actually wires into the transformer, got to get to the top as well as the bottom in order to access everything and get it installed the way it's supposed to be. Be right back. So I'll get my 5 16ths here, go ahead and start taking some panels off. And I won't bore you with every one of these screws, so if I skip ahead on you and something doesn't look right, that's what happened. And this is what a five ton air handler looks like. That's a big old A coil and it uh, it's a monster for sure. And it looks like it's seen better days with this rust and stuff in it, but it's probably 20 something years old. I can already see I do have a problem in this unit where this insulation on the side is being sucked into the, to the motor. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get that to stay back. What we got to do on this UV light is figure out where we're having kind of a mold and mildew issue the most. Uh, I can install this thing on the back panel and have it coming out where it kind of takes care of this area. Or what I can do is drill a hole with my step up bit or step down bit, whatever you want to call it, very bit, very bit and uh, mount it right here and then mount all my wires straight up the panel come up through this hole and connect into my transformer low voltage wires which is what this uv light does it, it operates off of 24 volts so you can't get these things actually in 120 volt i don't know if it's 240 but uh, i think you can get it in 120 volt as well so you can wire it into your line voltage half of it but uh, this particular model that we've got it's a 24 volt install so it's pretty simple wires right into your 24 your 24 volts coming out of the transformer into those two wires and uh, I see somebody's done a really nice job of mounting that transformer uh, if you can see that rocking around in there anyway we'll go ahead and uh, figure out a few fixes for the insulation figure out the best installation space for the UV light. I'll show you all the pieces and parts that go along with that. So uh, let's get started on that. So we'll go ahead and unpack this UV light. also comes with a label that you can put on your outer panel to kind of tell you what model of UV light you installed. There's that Z bracket I was telling you about right here. Bust into this. And there's our UV light. This is all the trans the the transformer that goes with the UV light, the wiring, everything you need. It's got all the wire nuts, the wire connectors to connect into your low voltage wires. And uh, we're gonna get to that in a second. It's also got the screws for mounting this bracket. And we're gonna use just this section of it. You can see the little studs on it right there. And let me set this aside. It's simple. They tell you to just bend this back and forth until it snaps off. And this is a pretty good powerful magnet right there. Hey, multi-purpose, you might find something to do with that. So, set that right there. Now this piece has actually got two screws that hold it onto the A-coil. And then these studs are for mounting your UV light. And it's got some nuts that hold that UV light in there wire comes out and you bring it on up into the air handler wiring section and then wire it in. So 
best thing to do on this go ahead and and this, here's the good part about it the screws that come with it are self tapping so you just put them on your drill you self tap them into this metal plate and you can uh, have this sitting there and then you get your step up bit and drill the hole for that glass tube to go through actually it's going to go this way and of course like I said your studs are right here with the nuts that are going to hold it on and that's it this is a plug and play kind of thing it lines up it's got a little keyway in there I don't know if you can see that but uh, everything is going to be pretty simple pretty easy the hardest part about it, I think the whole job is two parts of it for one making sure you get the hole drilled for that glass to go through here and two is connecting those wire connectors sort of like the old automotive ones that uh, one wire goes in it the other one goes across it and it crimps down it could be a booger I've put three of these in already this is the fourth one and I wanted to save this one for you so yeah we'll get to that in a minute so anyway let me readjust you here I'm going to mount this right here on this coil. I don't know if you can see that all that well. And uh, let me get it to where I can get these screws, where I can get a drill in there without messing up these capillary tubes. It's going to be a tight fit, but I think we can make it work. Heck, you can also go sideways with it up and down. It doesn't have to be across. The, the mount screws don't have to be across this way. They can be vertical as well. Whatever's going to be the easiest way to get that plate on there, because you definitely got to support that UV light. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and mount it like that. That way I can get to my screw holes. So let me get my drill lined up. We'll be right back. Okay, as I said, these are quarter inch self tapping screws that I'm going to put in here. So it makes it pretty easy. The only thing is, I can't find my magnetic tip. To put these on so I think what I'm gonna do is just cheat this so we'll go in here like so get this in place just kind of manipulate this a little bit so get it right that's one and see if we can get around these tubes here to get this other one. And that's it. Your bracket is set. So I'm going to move over to another drill and use my very bit to drill out my hole. Big enough for that glass tube to go into. Change out my battery. Go to another drill here. Go ahead and lock it in center. And I think that'll work. Do a little test fit. And like I said, this is the easiest part of it right here. slides in nice and as you can see my bracket lines up good I'll go ahead and get the nuts for that and these you can put on thumb tight do the top one do the bottom one so this is probably like I said the easiest part of this installation Sure that screw is and that nut is cross threaded and just thumb tight it on. What's really weird about this is he come in here, especially since my filter is just off to the 
left of this unit. You come in here at nighttime and this light is gone because it does run 24-7, which is fine. That's what it's designed to do. Uh, and you come in here at nighttime and all the lights are off and it's dark in the room and you got this purplish haze coming off of the, the where the filter grill is because, you know, that light's going to shine pretty good and it's actually can be a little off-putting. All right, so now what all we need to do is to get the transformer and the wiring for this and go ahead and position our wiring. Keep it out of the way of the coils. You don't want that rubbing on here as little as possible. And like you said, this is the transformer. It's a 24 volts. This mounts up here in the top. So we'll get all this taken apart. Let me go ahead and snip this strap. At this point, you want to make sure that you've got your power turned off to the unit if you hadn't already done that. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the installation of this, other than when you're drilling that, that bigger hole. You know, you're getting a lot of metal shavings. You don't want to be pushing that up into your coil if possible. But uh, if you've had this unit running, now's the time you want to go ahead and shut everything down because we're going to be wiring this black and this red wire into the low voltage end of the transformer and you don't want to do any shortages but uh, this step right now what you want to do is go ahead and wire get your wires run get everything situated in place here there's a nice little hole right there that we can run this cord through and, uh, did you see that let me push this up a little bit found a hole here in the air handler where it's for wiring actually so I'm able to go ahead and fish my wire through there and just leave this stuff hanging for now what I did on the other three units that I installed is I actually went ahead and wired this in now there's really no hard way or wrong way to do this it's pretty self-explanatory you got a little D shape inside of here and a D shape in there and they're going to go opposite each of each other so and there's two lines right here on the case that show you how everything lines up so you want to go ahead and line up those and boom that's it they wire right together so at this point I would go ahead and figure out where I want to wire this, or how I want to position my wires in here. I want to get them tucked out of the way. And if you have to use zip ties, you can do that. And for now, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and leave this kind of loose. I actually didn't bring any zip ties with me. I have to go back to the shop and get those. And then when I'm wiring this up, I'm going to roll this cord back up like it was. And then I'm going to zip tie this and I'm going to mount this on the inside of this box. And this is your electrical box in here in the air handler. And then all I'll have then is just two wires right here to wire in. Like I said, I'll get these out of my way. And then I'll wire these two to my 24 volts and since this transformer has already been replaced, I'm actually not going to use that. Hang on, let me show you this. These are like, I don't know if you remember these connectors. They're like automotive connectors. And it's really weird. You put one wire in here, which would be like the wires coming off of this UV transformer. And the other wire just goes straight through. And then this spade right here you push it in and it makes contact and it breaks the insulation around it and you push it all the way in and then this little piece right here just folds over and locks right there now if you didn't already have a transformer replaced like i have here you want to go ahead and try to use this you can't cut the wires wire not everything together and it'll work just the same uh this is just an inline kind of uh 
connection that uh, saves you from having to cut wires and spinning them back and wire nutting them all together. It's a clean install. I did it on the other three, but like I said, the other three had a transformer that hadn't been replaced yet. Uh, one thing you want to remember on these things is that your transformer, if you look at the at the voltage rating on the side of it, you want to look at the amps. If you have a 40 amp transformer inside of this unit, you don't have to worry about anything. This thing's going to work fine. 40 amps is plenty enough to run the system and to run the UV light. Uh, where you might get a little bit questionable as you're stepping down to a 30 amp transformer, it may work, but just be prepared that you may have an issue with that transformer overheating and uh, it may burn out. And in which case, when you have to change it, step up to a 40 amp, 24 volt transformer. But uh, I put the other three in on the existing transformers and I think uh, two of them were 30s, one of them was a 40 because that was a five ton system. And I haven't had any issues with them yet. They're all still running and I've had them installed now for probably four months. But now we're opening the clubhouse back up, getting it all cleaned up. We went ahead and replaced the compressor a couple of days ago. And while we were at it, we put a new condenser motor on it because when we pulled the top off of it, water just flowed out of that motor like I said, I'm not going to trust that. Let's go ahead and replace that motor. So a five ton compressor and a, and a condenser motor. We got this air conditioner back up and running. So I figured, okay, this is a perfect time for me to show you guys how to install this UV light. And uh, it's something you may want to consider. It's supposed to help with the, with the microbes and the, the bad stuff that grows in your unit. You know, the molds and the mildews and the algaes. And, uh, it's supposed to help control that. It cleans up your air. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description area below on this light. And you can look it up for yourself. And from what I've read, it's got some really nice benefits. Well, sorry for that brief little interruption there, but uh, the battery died and my spare was dead as well. So I had to do a quick charge for the last hour and a half, two hours. So I want to finish up the wiring on this UV light. So, you know, where I left off was taking the wire nut off of one of the low voltage wires. So what I'm going to do now is to repeat that process. So here we go. Taking one side off here. And it's starting to get a little warm in here, so I need to go ahead and hurry up and get this wrapped up. I'm not going to bother you people with buttoning all this back up. I'm just going to show you that once the installation of this is complete, I can go ahead and turn the system back on and rock and roll. So I'll show you the light when it comes on. And then... That'll be the end of the installation on this UV light. And then I will button up the system, turn it all back on again, and we will be good to go. So, all right, so I've got my low voltage wire in there. And what I'm going to do is, is attach this transformer box with some self-tapping quarter-inch screws to lock this down while I'm in here. I'm going to go ahead and lock this transformer down in place as well. I'm going to clean up all these wires and get this thing where it looks nice and neat and clean. But we're wired up and it's ready to rock and roll. What I'm going to do is go ahead and throw the panel back on real quick. And get these out of the way just for now. Like I said, I'm going to clean this up. I've also got to get some pins or something to lock this insulation in place so that it's not sucking into that fan motor. And it looks like we'll have to come back and do some cleaning on this unit. There's a lot of dirt and debris built up on this insulation. This is all stuff that's going to go out into your room. You know, it's going to come out of your registers. It's going to dirty up your ceilings. So, but that's all stuff that I'll have my guys come in here Monday and clean this unit up, tuck this all in place, get it all good and cleaned up. We want it to be presentable. Even if you can't see it, it needs to be right. Nobody's going to see it, but we see it. We know it's not right, and we're going to make it right. So we'll go ahead and put this top panel back in place. No, I'm sorry, the bottom panel. But I don't want it to run the compressor without having this closed up the way 
it should be. So I'm just going to zip a couple screws in, just temporarily hold it. Because there's a few things to button this up that we need to do. Just kind of throw that in there. So go ahead and put the disconnect back in. And uh, because it's a digital thermostat, it has a time delay. So we'll wait for that. I don't feel like going in there and bypassing the time delay. All right, I went ahead and took the filter out in the front grate. You can see the inside of our plum here for the return air is lit up. And I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing here. That's the UV light on the inside of that air handler. And yeah, we need to clean up those coils, make them look a lot better than they are. But imagine if you will coming here late at night when it's dark, not that anybody would be, but if you're doing this in your house, this is something you need to be aware of. You know, you, there's a possibility that you're gonna see this blue purplish light in your, in your return air area. So uh, don't be alarmed by that. That's gonna be totally natural. So there you go, the installation of a UV light in an air conditioner. You want to put it in this air handler, like I said before, you want to make sure that you're, when you open the panels up, you identify where your problems are, where you're seeing some mold and mildew, and the growth and, and the, the contaminants that you don't want in your air. You know, that's where you're going to place that UV light. And like I said, you don't have to drill the coil. If, if your system doesn't have an A coil, it's got a slant coil. This is designed to magnetize to the back of the cabinet. And what you would do is cut a square out of the insulation. You would mount this on the Z bracket where the light is going out. And this just snaps into the back of your air handler and sits there. That's all it is. So you would cut out a square big enough for this bracket to sit in so that you're getting straight to the metal. You know, take that insulation off of the back panel You'll have your light already installed, it'll be coming out this way. And you'll just slip it in there, boom, slide it into the slot, and uh, then just wire it up. Simple wiring, two wires on a 24 volt system. We just came on. When this light's doing its job, which it's doing now, because it's lit, it's going to further the clean air that we want. So, ultraviolet light. So what I'm going to do now, drop it on the floor. This is a little sticking label that you put up on the panel and you write the information of what your model of it was, the date that it was installed, the lamp model, uh, replaced by, and it's got four different slots on here so that uh, you can kind of notate when things were done. So I'll fill this out, we'll slap it on that air handler, and we're good to go. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to clean up the air in your air conditioner and in your home, a UV light is the best and probably the cheapest way to do that. And it's going to help the air quality for you and your family. And in my case, for my residents that are using this space, I'm in the clubhouse, this is the storage room that holds the HVAC and the water heater. So, you know, people that are coming in here, this air quality is gonna be a lot better than it was by using a UV light that kills the bacteria and the growths and the microbes. So it's an antimicrobial barrier added to a clean filter and clean coils when we get to that. Leave me a thumbs up if, if you like this video, and if you don't like it, leave me a thumbs up anyway. You know, it takes a little time to do this stuff, you know, dead batteries and setting up and all that, and show me you appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, please. It helps a lot. It really does. It helps so much. It tells YouTube that my content is worth sharing with the rest of the world and you. So this is Dan Giles. I'll see you in the next video.